Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Tara. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload. I make a lot of other stuff other than scrubs, so make sure you check out my other videos. Anyways, you guys have been asking for it, and here it finally is, a scoopable scrub. So here is about like what the viscosity looks like. It is still pretty thin, um, but you can like flip it upside down, it doesn't spill out. Tip it to the side and it takes a little bit for it to spill. By the way, my nails need painted, I know, let's ignore that. Um, but here's some good little close-ups of what the texture of the scrub looks like. If you guys would like to see a thicker version of the scrub, let me know and I'll be sure to do that. Also, if you wanna see a version of the scrub that maybe is like more naturally compliant, let me know. Or if you wanna see a version of the scrub that doesn't lather and foam because this one actually lathers and foams. So that's freaking cool if that's what you're into. Here's the formula we're gonna be working with. I'll have it in the description box as well. I'll also link to all the equipment and ingredients I use down in the description box. So let's get started. We're gonna be working on phase A first and we're making a 500 gram batch. So I'm starting with 60 grams of cocomedal propyl betaine. That is a surfactant. That's what's gonna be creating the lather and the foam. And then 30 grams of glycerin. Glycerin is a humectant that helps hydrate the skin. And then go grab a respirator. You wanna make sure it's a respirator, not just like a cloth mask because we need to work with SCI. I'm gonna be adding in 10 grams of it. And this is a really light weight powder that goes airborne very easily and you don't want to breathe that stuff in. So that's why we're wearing a respirator. So gently mix the SCI powder in. And I do wanna mention that SCI is a surfactant. So this will add lather and foam to the scrub. And then set that beaker to the side and grab another heat safe beaker for phase B, which is just 27.5 grams of distilled water. And the reason we're keeping the water separate from phase A is so the water doesn't make phase A lather because it has a bunch of surfactants in it that will lather. All right, so putting those to the side, grab a bowl because I think this works best. I'm using a metal bowl here for phase C. And I'm gonna add in 25 grams of a plant oil. I'm using sunflower oil. You can use a different oil if you would like, like olive oil or something. And then five grams of emulsifying wax NF. This will help add viscosity to the scrub and blend the oil and water together. And then 25 grams of polysorbate 80. This will keep the viscosity of the scrub down while also helping blend the oil and water together because it is an emulsifier. And even though oil does suppress lather and foam, I want to have both oil and water in the scrub because I want the oil to help lower the percentage of water in the scrub to prevent the sugar from dissolving because water does dissolve in sugar. So having some oil in the scrub helps reduce that from happening. But I do want to still have water in the scrub in order to make it a foaming scrub. All right, anyways, now I'm gonna add in 10 grams of shea butter. You can use a different butter if you would like, specifically a softer butter. Um, if you use a harder butter, it will increase the hardness of the scrub. So just keep that in mind. So now that we have phase A, B, and C all weighed out, we can take all of our phases over to the water bath. You just wanna fill a pan with a little bit of water, about an inch or so of water, depending on how big your containers are, and put it on about medium heat and place all of the phases in the water bath and let them heat until everything is melted in phase C and the SCI is dissolved in phase A. You also wanna make sure you take the weight of phase B, which is the one with just distilled water, because some of the distilled water will evaporate while we're heating this up and you'll have to replace any water that evaporates. All right, now that everything in phase C is melted, and then the SCI is dissolved in phase B. Also, you wanna make sure it looks clear like this. If it's clear, you know you're good. And then also make sure you weigh the water and replace any water that evaporated. So now we're gonna pour phase B, which is the water, into phase A, which is the surfactants and the glycerin, and gently mix it. You wanna make sure you don't create too much foam here. And yeah, just make sure it's all combined. Then go ahead and grab phase C, which is all the oils and emulsifiers, and pour phase A and B into phase C. And I just hand mixed it here, because again, I don't want to create a whole bunch of lather and foam. So the consistency you end up with, I like to describe as 
you're making Christmas cookies with your mom and your mom tells you to make more icing, but you accidentally add too much milk to the icing and it ends up being way too thin and then you end up needing to add more powdered sugar. I don't know if I'm the only one that's ever experienced that before, but I swear every time I make icing, it's always way too thin and it ends up like this. This is the viscosity <laughs> you should end up with. And of course, this won't be the final viscosity. It will thicken up overnight, but this is what it should look like at this moment. Very thin Christmas cookie icing. So now that those three phases are all combined, we wanna let this sit and return to room temperature before adding in phase D. So mine's at about 85 degrees here, a little bit more than room temperature, I'd say, but whatever, it's fine. And I added in 2.5 grams of the Liquid Dermal Plus. I mixed that in. As you can tell, it has thickened up a bit more. Now we're, you know, a little bit thicker of an icing texture. And now it's time for our fragrance oil. You can use whatever fragrance oil you want. I decided to go with this watermelon sugar fragrance oil from Brambleberry, and I added in five grams of it. I really didn't want to do another watermelon fragrance product since I just did a watermelon scrub in my last video, but apparently I'm really digging the watermelon scents lately, so that's just what ended up happening. And it went perfect with this pink mica powder, which is the same mica powder I used in my last video. I added in 0.30 grams, and I'll link below to this exact mica powder as well. And I mixed the mica powder in, and then now it's time for the sugar. I'm using white granulated sugar. It's just basic sugar from the grocery store. And I added in 30 grams, and then I hand mixed it just to make sure the sugar doesn't go everywhere. I just recommend mixing it by hand. And then once you have it nicely mixed by hand, just give it a quick mixer. What? <laughs> just give it a quick mix with the hand mixer. <laughs> a quick mixer, I guess. And yeah, you don't need to mix it for too long. And this is what the viscosity looks like, guys. This is what we're working with. It will thicken up overnight because of the emulsifying wax and the shea butter. If you do want it to be thicker, you can increase the percentage of emulsifying wax and F and then lower the um, polysorbate 80 or you could lower the oil, whatever you really want to do. Um, it w it'll just end up working out in the end anyways. You can do probably a few modifications to this recipe and it'll still work out. But anyways, let's cover it with some saran wrap and we'll just let it sit overnight and I'll show you guys the final viscosity tomorrow. As you can tell right here, it's pretty droopy, but it won't be like that tomorrow. See, look, I told you so. It wasn't gonna be like this the next day. It's like a lot harder, but I will tell you that, see like, okay. So as I'm scooping it here, you can see how pretty thick it is, like how it doesn't go back. Like it doesn't go back together, but the more you mix it and the more you mess with it, the, um, the softer it will get. It, this doesn't happen regularly. Like once I've jarred this up, it has stayed the same viscosity, but this is just how it is after it sits overnight. You just need to like play in it for a little bit and then it'll get all more like malleable and stuff like that. And it is important to note that depending on where you live and like how hot it is, this might have a different viscosity. So you might need to tweak the formula a little bit for it to work where you live. Um, it could be harder and softer depending on how warm or cold it is where you're at. So um, I just think this is a good formula base to kind of start with. But like I said, if you want to see a thicker scrub, let me know. I'll do a version of this, but thicker. I also kind of have a version of this that is without um, the foaming and lathering. I'm still tweaking the formula a bit, but I should have that done pretty soon. So if you want to see that without the lather and foam, let me know. And yeah. I guess just enjoy this ASMR footage of me filling my jar. And I talked about this at the beginning, so it probably sound like a broken record, but this is like what the viscosity slash texture is. Like you can tip the jar upside down. It doesn't really spill out immediately. You can tip it to the side. It like slowly pours out. So, you know, it's got like some like wiggliness to it, but still like stays in its form. I don't really know if any of that made any sense, but you guys can see what it looks like on the screen. Um, it also, like I keep saying, it lathers and foams. So if you take some of the scrub, 
You should apply it on damp skin. My skin is very, very dry here. I don't know why I didn't get my arm damp first, but it does spread pretty easily, especially on my dry skin. And then you add some water and then massage it in. And you got some lather and foam and some scrubby scrubs. Your skin's nice and exfoliated and clean. And there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this formula. Let me know your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, notification bell, and I'll TTYL. Find someone to listen. Honest.